years ago, wings of circumstances inadvertently brought me along with a small band of dedicated field educators to the inauguration of the unprecedentedly culturally sensitive Tiboli Senior High School program in Lake Cebu, South Cotabato. Thereafter, we proceeded to the nearby Sitio Tokolefa, Barangay, Lamdalag. In particular, we went to the Manlilikanang Bayan Center to pay respects to the late Lang S. Dulay, the Tinalak Master Weaver and National Living Treasure Awardee who passed away exactly a month ago then. Starting with the pounding and stripping of the abaca stems to produce fibers and make them even thinner by, by coaxing, to the manual dyeing of the strands and meticulously arranging them on a bamboo frame, and to the month long back breaking weaving process, Tinalak fabric is indeed a product of love and passion. Tinalak is undoubtedly woven by the passionate hands of a fervent lover who is captivated by the charming countenance of beauty, enamored by the enticing glances of arts and enthralled by the warm embrace of craftsmanship. It is a lasting canvas of beauty, the beautiful and the beautiful lover. Lang Dulay is a dreamer of not only the more than a hundred Tinalak designs, but also of the more important design to preserve her people's ethnic identity and to pass on the cultural heritage to the generations to come. processes of globalization and localization, of homogenization and heterogenization, of fusion and fragmentation. As she weaves, she is most expressively dialoguing, engaging in the perennial dialogue between the logos of tradition and that of postmodernity, between the logos of preservation and that of adaptation, 
between the logos of isolation and that of bridge between the original text language and the target for translation language. The late master weaver is a cultural bridge between historical past and the fast-changing future of the Tivoli As a cultural bridge, her litany is weaving, her voice is her nimble hands, her slogan is silence and concentration, her banner is the role of Tinalak, and her hymn is the praise for immortality and transcendence. After bidding farewell to the center's attendance before noon time, as I had to catch my flight for Metro Manila via Davao City, an adjacent old mosque caught my attention. I asked permission from a young man sitting in front of a small store for me to take a picture of the aging house of worship. And I learned from Faisal, Faisal Dulay, a Muslim great-grandchild of the late Dreamweaver and Tivoli icon, that their clan members, numbering around 200, who peacefully live side by side in Sitio Tokolefa, are followers of different faiths, Catholicism, Protestantism, and Islam. As I was on board the aircraft, I had one more realization. Langdulai's Bamboo Built Center is also a school of a parallel living tradition. The ideal tradition of religious tolerance, peaceful coexistence, and mutual understanding. 